Join me as I look back on my spring summer 10 item capsule wardrobe. I'm going to give a brutal assessment. How did this wardrobe perform? What did I learn from it? What changes am I going to make for next year? And let's also get ready for fall. Hi everyone, welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. My name is Jennifer, and if you're new to my channel, I do a 10 item capsule wardrobe each season. I have a TEDx talk on the subject, that has been seen by over a million people. So this is a very popular concept right now, the capsule wardrobe, and I've been doing this for well over a decade. I learn something new each season, and I like doing these look back videos uh, to assess how my wardrobe performed. It's really important to be critical and analytical of your wardrobe because every time you decide on something, you decide, you know what? That's not my style anymore, I'm moving on. You get closer and closer to your true style, wearing clothes that you love, and that's ultimately the goal. You want to love every piece in your capsule wardrobe. You want to just reach in there and just wear something and every day feel great in your clothes. So most people have one or two or three outfits that they just feel so good in. They look good, they feel good, they wear them all the time because of this. So wouldn't that be amazing if every piece in your capsule wardrobe was like that? So I'm going to go over my spring summer wardrobe with you this year and I have learned a lot. I really have, I'm still learning. <laughs> even after a decade of doing the capsule wardrobe. So let's get started. Okay, so the big thing to take note of this year was that I had a baby uh, last fall, and so I was still in a transitional period where I am losing the baby weight, my body is changing, uh, everything is changing, you know what I mean? So it's, it's just a very transitional period where I just have to give myself grace and understand that it's not going to last forever. Another issue is that I have been breastfeeding this whole time. So that really dictated what I had in my wardrobe and if you're new here and wondering why I had a lot of similar looking dresses, that's why. That L.L. Bean dress is the ultimate nursing dress. It is perfect. I had a reader recommend that dress to me and I'm so glad she did. That dress was perfect. Uh, I'm gonna get into more about that later, but um, that's why I had so many V-neck dresses. Um, that I could easily breastfeed in. And so I wouldn't normally have so many of the same style in my wardrobe, but again, the 10 item wardrobe needs to work for you and that is what worked for me this season. So getting started, let's look at the Seafoam Floral Land's End dress. Um, this was a purchase this year that was great. I mean, it was an affordable dress. I love the color still. It's just a beautiful spring summer dress and that dress performed really well. I plan to bring it back next year for spring summer. So that will be coming back. Silk Rebecca Taylor dress. This is from several seasons ago and I keep holding on to this dress. It's just time for me to release this dress. Now, it's just too short. I had to wear it with leggings. I had to really make it work and I didn't wear it as much because it's not as easy to breastfeed in. So it is time for this dress uh, to go. The dress that I am wearing now, the maxi dress, I love this dress and it is so comfortable. My only issue with it was that moving into summer, it was just too hot to wear. When I'm in the house all day and the air conditioning's on, I can wear it, but if I'm going out the long sleeves, it's just too heavy. So um, going forward, I think what I'm going to be doing now, rather than just keeping the same clothes for spring and summer, I will definitely be transitioning certain clothes for the spring when it's still a little bit cool, and then I'll just be putting those away and having a summer specific wardrobe because it gets so hot here and it's over 100 degrees almost every day, and in the spring it's not like that. So I really do need to be more intentional about what I switch out. I've just been so busy with the kids that I don't even have the time to shop or look or anything. So it was just easier for me to have spring, summer. But the thing is, is that I was wearing the same things over and over again. It went down to like a five item capsule wardrobe. The next one, the APC dress. Now this dress, I do believe I'm going to retire. 
I'm not going to donate it or sell it, however. I'm going to keep this dress for my daughters because this is such a beautifully constructed dress and it's a very high quality and I feel like it's the type of dress that they will love to wear one day. So I'm going to be keeping this dress for them, but I probably will not be bringing it back. Um, you know, it just, it was kind of pulling on the buttons. And I know that's also because I was breastfeeding and my body's changing, but um, I think it's time for me to retire that dress. Okay, so we had four of the L.L. Bean dresses. Now again, this is not ideal. I don't normally like to have four of the same thing in my capsule wardrobe. Um, and so let's talk about these. The best thing about them was that they were breastfeeding friendly and I felt presentable in them every day. Uh, what I didn't like about them was that, let's see, three of them were in that dark blue color. And as I was in the spring summer months, I thought, you know what? I don't really wanna be wearing this dark color. I feel like that's more of a winter color. So going forward, another thing that I learned is that when I am in spring summer, I want to wear spring summer colors. It's okay to have a few navy blue, I think, items, but um, for me, I sometimes just felt like why, I feel like I'm in the fall or winter when I was wearing, you know, the polka dot dress um, and the brush stroke dress, although I love that dress. That is so beautiful. So the dresses have performed really well, but I wore them so heavily that uh, a few of them are just really worn out and I don't believe that I will be bringing them back to my 10 item wardrobe for spring summer because of that. I wore these so much, I mean every single week for the past six months and I've washed them so many times. So uh, because of that, uh, some of them look a little bit worn down. Yes, so I will be retiring those dresses. I don't know if I'm going to be retiring all of them. I'm still deciding. And so that's the thing. I don't want you to feel pressure. I feel pressure sometimes on this blog because I'll make an announcement. I'm retiring this piece of clothing. And then I, I set it aside and I bring it back next spring, summer, and I decide I want to wear it again. You know, that's okay. You can do that. I feel like I have all, all sorts of people who are saying, but I thought you retired this, but I thought don't worry about that. Just take all the noise out of that situation and you just be in charge of what you want to do. So if you're unsure about whether or not you want to bring something back uh, next season, just pack it away and next season when you open it up, you're going to know whether or not you want to wear it again. Or if it looks shabby or old, it's time to get rid of it. The red floral blouse, this was a great, you know, addition again. I love the color and whenever I wear this blouse, I get a compliment every single time I wear this blouse. The things that I don't like about it, again, are um, the longer sleeves. When it got really hot in the summertime, I just wasn't wearing it. I stopped wearing it. Um, again, the material is not a natural fiber, so that is something else that I don't like about the blouse. It was a budget purchase, and I did like that about it. So there's pros and cons to this blouse. Um, I'm going to be packing it away and bringing it back. It could be that I just wear it for a few months next year and pack it away when it gets hot and switch it out for something else. So that is the plan there. Um, as far as the denim skirts, um, you know, I feel like I need to find a better denim skirt because the LL Bean one I have was too short and when I would sit down it would go high and then the one that I had, which I believe was from Land's End, that was the maternity um, skirt that was kind of the transitional skirt is too big for me. So it's like Goldilocks. I'm not thrilled with the denim skirts. And if I would choose to have a denim skirt again, I will have to, uh, I think, find a new one. The shoes. I was very happy with my shoe selection. I don't really switch it up that much. I just get a nude neutral shoe that goes with everything. I loved those Corky sandals. Absolutely love them. I love the Sam Edelman Gigi sandal. It's just a great uh, sandal. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm looking at <laughs> my wardrobe here so I don't miss anything. So many of you saw the romper jumpsuit video that I did last week. I did do a new edition and I love that jumpsuit. I've been wearing it so much this summer and it's great. So many people commented about the bathroom issue with the jumpsuit and I just find this so fascinating and funny. I feel like we are in such an age where everything is so convenient and tailored to us that when you have to go an extra step, and I understand that people feel uncomfortable fully undressing in the bathroom, I totally get that. <laughs> but it's just like a no-go for so many people because of that one issue. Um, I wear it around at, at home and I certainly don't mind just in my own bathroom at home 
just taking it off when I need to use the restroom. You don't have to fully take it off, you just you know pull it down. And it's no problem for me, but I understand why other people wouldn't want the jumpsuit. But I love it. Let's recap about what I've learned from my spring summer wardrobe for this year, okay? Brutally honest assessment. Number one, I would like to wear more spring summer colors next year. I don't wanna have so many darks dark navies, dark colors, because now as we're going into fall winter, I'm going to be wearing darker colors, richer jewel tone colors, and I feel like I've been wearing them all year. You know what I mean? So there's that. Number two, I'm going to be more intentional about switching each season. Even if the weather is status quo here, I would still like to switch out a few things each season. I think I've gone on this hyper minimalist journey maybe to prove something on the channel that it can be done and it can be done but at the same time i want to make sure that i'm doing something that's true to myself so um, i know that it's possible to have such a tiny capsule wardrobe for a long time and be content with less but at the same time it just doesn't make sense for me to carry some of the heavier things from spring like the apc dress the long um, sleeve red blouse this this dress even that I'm wearing right now into the summer because I wasn't wearing them as much, you know, because of the heat. So I will be looking for lighter pieces, maybe more flowy dresses, summertime, white, seersucker, that type of thing as I move into summer next year. I had a lot of the same dress because of the nursing. I won't be doing that again. That was just a one-time thing because of my situation, but I will try to mix it up a bit. My son did say to me this year um, when I was wearing one of the L.L. Bean dresses, he said, mommy, why do you wear that dress every day? <laughs> Talk about being brutally honest. And I said, well, I don't wear it every day, but I do wear it probably once a week. And he seemed like he was annoyed by it. Like he wanted me to, to vary my wardrobe a bit more. And that really hit home for me because I thought, wow, you know, I'm very strict with myself and I'm on this, this, this minimalist journey with my clothing, but have I gone too far where I'm literally wearing the same things every single week and my son, my two-year-old or three-year-old now, noticed it, you know what I mean? So I am definitely gonna switch things up. I'm not going to be so strict with myself um, I don't need to prove anything to anybody about what a minimalist I am. You know what I mean? So I'm looking forward to uh, just finding my own true style more and moving in that direction. Uh, another takeaway, I've discovered the wonderful effect of layering and layering over dresses with crop t-shirts and sweaters is just my favorite Thing. I love this. It gives so many different looks. That is another takeaway that I've had. Now, going into fall, I am actually completely at a loss because I do not have much at all going into my fall wardrobe. Last fall, I was pregnant. I was in maternity wear, so I'm looking at things that I had two years ago. I do have this floral, again, midnight blue dress that I will be bringing back. I love that dress. That was from two years ago. Other than that, I have to get so much for my fall winter wardrobe this year and I want to do it right. I don't want to rush it for the blog. So you might have to be patient and go on the journey with me. You know what I mean? Oh, the jeans. So as you know, the, the maternity, the Land's End uh, jeans became too stretchy. So I got the Mott and Bow jeans. Love those jeans and those will definitely be going forward into my 10 item wardrobe for fall winter. I love them and they're gonna pair really well with boots, booties, and they're gonna look really good. Back when I was wearing the Lands End flat front jean, I also purchased the black one because it was on sale and I was loving the jean at the time. However, I've lost so much of the baby weight that that jean is not going to fit me anymore. I'm actually going to give that to a family member. I'm going to decide what to do for um, the pant option. I might get another Mott & Bow in black in the Oliver, or I might get something more like a fluid ankle pant that I used to have with Loft. I don't know. I hope that you go on the journey with me to see what I end up getting. As for the lace tees, I love these tees and they still look amazing. They still look good. They're so, I mean, I can't believe how high quality they are. They're from Loft. But I'm gonna pack them away for spring, summer of next year. I'm not going to wear them year round because I would just like to uh, move again toward fall, winter colors. I don't wanna meld everything so much as I have been doing in the past. So I'm going to be looking for fall, winter colors. I'm not going to be looking for trends. 
I don't do that. I'm just going to look for what I feel good in and what looks good on me and works with my lifestyle. So I hope that this video gave you inspiration. I hope that you get thoughtful and intentional about your own wardrobe, whether or not you do the 10 item wardrobe or even a capsule wardrobe. It's really time to just assess our true style. Let's avoid the trap of wearing yoga pants and workout shirts every single day. It's good to dress up and look presentable always, and the 10 item wardrobe really does help you to do that. If you're interested in creating a capsule wardrobe, I have so many resources which I can leave below. And that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this assessment. I would love to know what you thought of your wardrobe for spring, summer. How did it work for you? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you in my next video. Bye.